Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a tour of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Minecraft. I've been working on this myself and, uh, well, you know, somebody decided to update the whole entire fluid duct thing. So now I have to replace every single fluid duct in here, which I've been procrastinating and I will probably not do for another three months. Anyway, here is the lighting arrangement for the outside. Very cool. So this is pretty much bare bones right now. We have our turbine hull. Obviously, there's not any rooms in here for any fluid ducts that are hooked up because, yeah. See, see, I have to replace every single one of these depreciated ones with this. And that I do not have time for right now because I have to upload on a consistent schedule. So anyway, I'm, I'm showing, I'm giving you a tour now. Look at all these turbines. I think there is the accurate amount of two turbines per reactor. That. I'm not really sure. I don't even know if that's accurate, if I'm be honest. Alright, let's take you to, I think, reactor number four, which is the first one we worked on. So this one is the most built up, obviously, because this one go boom. So here we go. We have our... Uh, whoops. We have our uh, steel uh, outer shell here, obviously. And down here we have our big, big tanks here. And our over fluid ducts, this is the only one that's hooked up right now, of course, because... <laughs> oh, gosh. We have, uh, I think at least two of these for each barrel. This one's not hooked up yet. We have one of these for each side. Uh, each of these runs independently, I think. I'm not really sure. It's supposed to. Like, realistically, if we're making this 100% realistic, it should run in tandem with the other one. But not at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I am not a nuclear engineer. All right, here is the uh, reactor. This is not going to be here at the finished project. Uh, project, obviously. We can actually set stuff. It's been a while since I've been here. Forgot you can actually set, like, what you're monitoring. Very nice. And here is the reactor hull itself with a little bit of nothing, apparently. <laughs> I, f I, for some reason, thought there was cooling ponds in here. There they are. Cooling ponds. Yes. I give myself a lovely dose of radiation. And our, uh, look at that. We have our steam channels, our fuel rods. It's generating steam? I don't know why or how. There better not be a fuel rod. There shouldn't be anything in there. Why would it be depleted? I'm, I'm assuming that's a graphical glitch and there's not actually anything in there. I have had way too many reactors explode on me. Here's an un uncovered RBMK reactor. Very nice. You can really see the fuels the uh, steam channels and the fuel rods and the control rods and all that fun stuff. Gotta love it. Looks nice. I have no idea what the front of the building is going to be for, but you know, <laughs> there's that. I have so much work to do and I'm probably not going to do it for a while. And here's another one. This one's not completed. Oh, look at that. It's actually more completed than the other one. Okay, that's odd. <laughs> I do love the steel casing. It really gives it that uh, good old Chernobyl 1980 stick that 86 special. And these lights, I think, actually work. They actually turn off and turn on with a switch, I think. Wireless redstone. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. I thought there was a bigger delay on that. And that closes the door, too, which is pretty nice, I guess. Here's the outside. Got our love, our little cooling stack there. Truly iconic, really. <clears throat> look at that. There's our uh, reactors one and two, and then three and four. Anyway, that's it for the short video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.